Poet Technologies enters the fourth quarter of 2022 with some momentum and notable activities on multiple continents. Here to explain what's happening with the initiatives in China is President and General Manager Vivek Rajgarhia. Vivek, nice to see you again. You've been busy on the road. What can you tell us about the progress being made? Nice to see you again, Adrian. Um, yes, as you mentioned, I just came back from a, a month-long trip to China. And uh, really, the great news is uh, we have the Optical Interposer technology platform now ready for mass commercialization. That is a significant milestone for us as a company, as a business, and I believe for our shareholders as well. Our super photonics joint venture is ready for prime time. The equipment, I went into the, into the facility, uh, the, all the equipment is installed in operations, all the key pieces of process, test, inspection is all there. Also, I would say that uh, we will be releasing four products by end of the year, uh, which will go into mass production. These products are the 100G CWDM4, uh, 100G CWDM4 TX and RX, 200G RX and 400G RX. And then there will be another four products uh, subsequently that we are working on for release that would get released in the first half of 2023. On top of that, the customer engagements that I, you know, I'm already familiar with what was going on, but actually to go and experience that, see the energy of the team in uh, dealing with customers, uh, getting in the design activity, the momentum that has been generated was also um, uh, significant. And at least two of these customers, as I think we know we've announced over time, uh, will be going into mass production uh, early next year. And so we'll start shipping in thousands and uh, going into tens of thousands of pieces a month. And, uh, you know, we've generated as a team uh, from Shenzhen, from Super Photonics, a momentum around the design and activities. That's quite the exciting update, and I think many people following the company will be happy to hear it. Uh, Poet has its operations in Shenzhen, which you said, which uh, they do a lot of designs and evaluation boards, and there's the Su Super Photonics joint venture, which is close by in Xiamen. You got a chance to visit both. Uh, some more noticeable signs of progress that, that you saw uh, on top of the great things you've just mentioned. So it was now that the products are coming out, you know, getting that ready into production and volume uh, manufacturing. There's a lot of engagement with customers supported by our Shenzhen team, uh, teaming up with the Super Photonics team, which also has a very strong customer support and engineering team. So the Shenzhen team continues to deliver in terms of getting the customer evaluation boards ready. So customers, in order for them to test our engines first, they need it on an evaluation board, which is kind of a uh, replica of how they would use it in their system. And then uh, providing the technical support to test it, to design in those engines. Also, we uh, have, have a multitude of live demonstrations that the team has done that. Uh, it was for the CIOE, which unfortunately got delayed, but all those were ready. And they are also, the team there is also actively involved in 400G transmit design, which is going to be a key milestone for POET, a sample for which is expected by end of the year. At the super photonics team, as I mentioned, the equipment and all is in, in place and the team is in place. We have about 35 people there on board, out of which 25 are technical engineering operation uh, uh, people, uh, staff, and they have been employed and trained for all the processes uh, that are needed. Most of them come from the experience in optical technology and chip device uh, modules uh, and so on. So I should also note that I visited Singapore as well, uh, exiting China on the way I stopped by Singapore for a couple of days. Um, it was my first time there at our facilities since the pandemic uh, started. And it was impressive to see the setup there that had expanded in terms of capability, equipment, and also the team. So I believe we are at a 
point or threshold in our progression as a business to really uh, make an impact uh, for for the company here. So that's great. And you mentioned the product videos. Uh, some of those, uh, which were shot by Dr. J Mo Jinyu in the Shenzhen team, who's an outstanding member of. Uh, the poet organization, they will be uh, made public soon enough. Um, now, being in, in production is a key milestone for the company. Once that is achieved, what happens next? Will it become easier to acquire more customers? So, going into production is already a very big deal for us. You know, we've been waiting for a long time. Uh, you know, it takes time. We have to make sure all the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed uh, before we start repeatedly producing uh, engines. So it's a sign of good things to come in 2023 and beyond. So I'm ha happy to also say that the Sanan management, our joint venture partner, is very supportive and excited. I met up with their senior management uh, team uh, uh, several times, and they are all looking forward to this uh, joint venture generating revenue, you know, starting next year. So. So word is clearly getting out about Poet in China, and, and I think we see signs in Europe and North America too. Are people in the industry noticing the, you know, what we talk about in the elegance and performance abilities of, of the solutions? Or are you, are you still facing some skepticism and, hey, how are you guys still able to accomplish this sort of uh, uh, questions? So word has definitely got out. It means it's, uh, you know, people know about Poet. Despite, as I mentioned, the fact that CIOE, which we had, uh, we have positioned or we worked hard as a team to get all our live demonstrations and everything ready, uh, has been delayed, uh, you know, due to the lockdowns. It will happen in, you know, maybe uh, in, a, in a couple of months time. Um, even then, we still had a video call with several of actually seven leaders of the upper, upper, Chinese operators, carriers like China Telecom, China Mobile, China Unicom, streaming live. You know, they could not travel to Shenzhen or we could not go to Beijing and other key places where they are located. But we were able to do a live video stream and the team in Shenzhen, Dr. Mo and others, um, set up all the live demos for them, showing them the capability of our platform and technology. Uh, these are the top, top, you know, um, uh, decision makers in the network. So they're the service providers, not the module, their customers, the system equipment customers who are really the key decision makers on the network. They were very impressed. They were impressed by the technology. Uh, many of them repeatedly mentioned that this is what, you know, uh, it's key for the growth of optical and for proliferation of the optical technology into the networks. It's the right direction for them. So we demonstrated 100G, 200G, 400G, 1.6D right from the lab as a, as a, through a video streaming. Um, and we expect to get further pull from these uh, top level decision makers in the networks, influencing their supply chains to look at and adopt our technology there. So. Uh, really, the word is getting out for sure. That's great. And, and I think that's a very impressive and robust report with lots of details. Uh, let's us know what's on the horizon short term and long term. You know, investors and you and I are both investors in the company have had a long wait for an appreciation in value. We know how hard everyone in the company is working to realize the kind of gains that come with being a primetime company. So maybe that wait is over. We'll see soon enough. In the meantime, it's a big holiday weekend approaching in Canada. So let's wish everyone associated with the company who live in Canada, including many of our investors, a happy Thanksgiving from everyone at Poet. So yes, uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone in Canada. And also, uh, I would like to um, thank all the shareholders. I understand it's been a long road. Uh, it is, however, a, a key inflection point that I personally experienced uh, being on the ground there at our facility, at our, our, our uh, R&D facilities in Shenzhen and Singapore. So I believe there's good things to come very soon. Yeah. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you.